everyone. Before we get into our 22nd report, I got a third sponsor from Joshua Lindell Sr. of his new book right here that has been released from Amazon. So please support him with the link being placed down below. And now let's get into the video. Yo, 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 Edo for a desk. Yoko saw that. Channel guy, Edo for. And if you've been here before, welcome back. But if you're not, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about the second to last report of the rap group called Satcha the Par or SDP for short, the best way I can. The language will be in English and Japanese, while the subtitles that will be added is Korean, Russian, Spanish, and Yoruba. So now let's enter the world of hip hop story world of Japan for Sacha the Par story. The first MC we'll start off with is Boze, known as Koshima Makuto, born in Okayami Prefecture in the year 1969, January the 15th, and happy late birthday. Next is Ani, known as Yosuke Matsumoto, born in 1967, July the 18th, and from Kasawagi City, Kangawa Prefecture. Lastly is DJ Shiniko, known as Shinuke Matsumoto, the younger brother of Ani, and born in the year of 1970, June the 9th. Even though their childhood is unknown, but what is known is their inspiration through funk and soul music. And that is even how Bose came up with his name from the late and Gary Biz Marquis. For our next part of our journey, this information will be explained more. So let's check it out. So for this chapter, what I'm talking about is how Japan has found hip hop to make it their own. So here is my best attempt for this history lesson. So during the 1850s and 1860s of Japan, they have listened to the classical music such as George Wishtower, Celsia Jones, Mozart, Nursery Rhymes, and etc. I definitely would believe that Best Hit USA is the musical show that interviewed American guests while rating the music in Japan with the host of Katsuya Kobayashi from 1981, April the 4th to 1989, September the 30th. The previous show that really showed off of what we're talking about today, and this would definitely be the first one, is Soul Train. Right, right around the 1980s, the popular hip-hop group in Japan was Run DMC. And on a play that was called Radical Godzoom Bimba System, because there was a rap segment that inspired the names of SDP. The tools that SDP in Japan had to start for hip-hop is Uta and Lyrics, check. Odoru ch and Styler, check. DJ, check. And Microphone, check. check. Once all these elements have been added up, especially produced by Kan Tagi, it equals Sacha da Par. And now we will start the musical discovery of J-Hop 
while going into the 90s to eat the mio. Their first album is the great success of Sakadara Daiku Sen, completed on May the 5th, 1990, and released on Major Force and Final Record. The first single is called NICE Guys, released on Valentine's Day of 1991, February the 14th. This was the only single and album released on this record company, which at the time was called the very first hip hop label that was not only just producing and exporting their music, but also international music of hip hop too. The second album promoted them to towering nonsense, blurted out on the 10th of October, 1991 on Sony Epic Records. Their second single is translated as staggering language. Question, what's that? Answered on the summer of 1991, July the 5th. The third single is considered one of the most popular songs that they have put out called Game Boy, played on the 12th of December. This song has become so popular that it was added for the commercial of the third Legends of Zelda series, A Link to the Past, released on Famicom in November of the 21st and internationally released on April the 13th and September the 24th of 1992. Now the fourth single is a trio to the cap. Proposed a toast on the 22nd of April 1992. The fifth single is the last single of 1992, which is A Santa World, that celebrated on November the 21st on Keon's Sony Record. The rambling manner for their sixth single is for their third album called Kokuro Naru Mama, which rumbled on May the 21st. 1993. The third album is their party of Wild Fancy Alliance that collaborated on February 21st, 1993 on Keon's Sony Records. During that time, they traveled to the birthplace of hip-hop, New York City, for the NHK documentary series translated as A Special Legend Hero. In this documentary, SDP was learning more about not only the origins, but seeing what hip hop is looking like in 1993 with the advice from De La Soul and the Jungle Brothers. This lent them not only a performance to their local club, but also featured on the De La Soul third album, Bullhorn Mind State, on September the 21st of 1993 on Tommy Boy and Warner Brothers Records and thought of of the 40th place. On the sixth track called Long Island Wildin featured them along with their producer too. Now to their fourth album. The fourth album is the biography of Satura Gaiden. Published on April Fools of 1994 and sold on the 11th place in the book market. The seventh single is celebrated as Konyawa Boogie Back Smooth Rap. Dance on the event on the 9th place in March of 1994 and got down on the 15th and 21st place while also in sampling from In Vogue as well. Around this time, Bose is placed on the second season of the kids show called P-Cakes, aka Funky Kids, that feature Amuro Namie and Ran Ran Suzuki. The fifth album is placed on the fifth wheel to the couch, sat on April the 26th, 1995 on Toshiba Records and ride on the fourth place. The eighth single, Shoot Me Do What? Question on February the 1st. The ninth single is coming from Kyodo Aruku. Swam on 19th of July and surfaced on the 56th place three times. The third single is for the fifth album is the 10th single Summer Jam 95 and Party on July the 19th. The sixth album is translated as 
an accidental album. Accidentally released on 4th of September 1996 and been mistakenly placed on the ninth place. The 11th single is called Crying Doberman. Cried on October the 4th, 1995 and relieved on the 30th place three times. The 12th single is Aqua Fresh, pressed on July the 10th of 1996 and styled for 34th place two times. The 13th single is the third song from their sixth album, Otonani Not Demo. Even as an adult, released on June the 1st, 1997, became the soundtrack of Peacocks and grew up to the 8th place. The last album for this chapter is the 7th album, Fun Key LP, on West Japan Record, and was having the fun of the 15th of October, 1998. The 14th single translated as The Urban Grammar, learned on March the 25th, 1998 on West Japan and graded on the 50th place. More fun keyword educated on June the 25th and updated the grade into the 75th place. The last single for this season is the Triple Shot EP and shot on the 8th of September, 1999. Now that the 90s is over, let's move on to the 21st century. The eighth album for the 21st century is an item called D Compact Disc, which was played on May the 24th of 2000. The ninth album is The Ninth Sense. Thought of on the 28th of April 2004 and imagined on the Compact Sound record. The 10th album is called Kon Juyo Po, released on November the 15th, placed on the 34th place and on Universal Records. The Disco System is the 16th single, danced on August the 29th, 2006, charted on the 113th place, and released on Universal Records. The 11th album is called Ju Ichi, released on Terra Bridge Records in 2009, March the 25th, and made it to the 47th place. The 17th single is Lights, Camera, Action, filmed on June the 11th, 2008, and made it to the 71st place from Terra Bridge Records. The last single for this moment for the early 21st century is the 18th single called Hey Hey Alright, brought to the new year of 2009, January the 14th, and made it to the 10th place. The last album for this moment is Juni Sai 12, placed on the new year of January the 28th of 2015, released on Zerio and Space Shower Music Records, and got the 20th place. For our third to last chapter, is not only for the file discography of DSP, but also to check out the present day on how Sacha Dapar is doing. They released the recent album called Shin Sachadara Daikusen. The new operations of SDP was given its mission on April the 8th of 2020. Released their latest single Forever Young featuring Mummy D and Rhyme Zone believed in March in that same year. For their 30th anniversary, they released the documentary of their journey from Space Shower TV while still touring now. They also have started their own YouTube channel since the new year of 2021, January 11th, while also starting a family of their own. We move on to the second to last chapter of What Do I Love and What Do I Learn About SDP? So let's zoom in. I'm going to set the record straight and just speak in Japanese on how I first encountered SDP. 
あきと2009年見たいときは、ゼルダ CM がみんなで踊るって。見たいときは12歳でしたで。楽しかったでしょう。面白いって。素晴らしい CM がゼルダで。I'm not gonna lie, they were getting lit. They were showing Ganon a thing or two by getting served by the power of funk. Mina ga kamitsu wa Michael Jackson through a. Demo, oboi teru toki ga Rhythm Nation Janet Jackson. Hajimete hito ga. ボーゼに五年後、私たちが見たいときはピッカイツの大地村で初めてのゴーフォーダー、ゴー千九百九十七、私と生まれ年が。ボーゼは大好きよじゃないよ。でも、初めてのが覚えてるって SD プサツだパー。見たい時だって14歳でした。He looked like he was about to spit some bars. He followed the assignment of dress code of hip hop, especially on a hit show. 覚えてる世界でラッパーだよ。びっくりしたで、で、初めと日本語ラッパーじゃないよ。でも、サチダパー、日本語が初めてラッパーズ世界を。お父さん、最近では、で、なんでよ一緒にがでしょうの。The rapper が三、二年が。The 世界で、ユーバーは。Won J O D A R J O L U。Won N E R E A T E B O W O F O N A S A。Won C M I K I O。マリーラカアオンジャランニティウォンティアパデ信じてる時だってサチダパーで大気だよでバカとないよでもみんなが大好きをってリドンフロートが本当のヒップホップ歌で発表の30ヒップホップ日本語が発表のでアメリカン人の5年がアスグループはリストでサチダパー頑張りましょうラップで、イースト・エン・ユーリー、MCAT、キング・ギドゥラ、リップ・サイム、ヒット・カン・クルー、ダ・パンプ、エン・フロー、ドラゴン・アッシュ、ハーツ・デル、コウ、エル・コウ。オン・ビー・ダ・ワー、フォーダー・プラス・ファイブ、カラー・ビーゼー、ジャニーズ・ジュニア、スピード、エグザイル、ズー、トノシブ、クーボータ、エリエイ・ライゼン、そして、アムロ・ナミエ。忘れたとかですが、ごめんなさいでしょうね。覚えてるときが、えー、そしては、黒人では、で信じてる、信じてるときが、ヒップホップ本当にいいでしょう
本当、アンビでしょう。そして、五、五、三、二、発業の、で、STP、ヒット、サチダパ、英語で、on the 5th of May will be celebrated as サチダパ、AKA、STP Day。おめでとう、で、三十二は、年が、英語は、I'm back again. One of the other things I like to talk about is their collaboration, which is the 2009 Nissan commercial with Tsuji Nozomi, along with a Honda commercial that they've done in 2015. 10 years ago, they did the commercial again of the Zelda rap of The DS released in 2013. Another collaboration that they have was Yutada Hikuru, Halikari, and the other collaborations that are right here, while also the tours that they have done as well. Also, did you know that they have met the Fishmans too? I hope they supported each other's careers. And they also met Denki Groove as well. During this research, I realized from this they are the very first hip hop group and artist from Japan. I love Steve VM report, but when I was watching this, I realized that Sacha Depar was missing from, that, from his report. Their personality was very similar to the Beastie Boys, especially with their comedic and rock and roll style of hip hop, but they have done it in their own way. Speaking of missing reports, During this double report, one of the collabs missing that she has done was with De La Soul. Yes, De La Soul has did a Japanese collaboration with Double for the PlayStation game Parappa the Rapper along with the music video from 2001 called I Gotta Believe. Even though Sacha the Par was the first Japanese hip hop, Their inspiration of their predecessors with them is the Yellow Magic Orchestra, or YMO for short. They were the first musical artists that not only sample all sorts of music, but also debuted the first form of city pop and lo fi, while also being on Soul Train, too. And the reason why I brought this up. For their 45th anniversary tribute, is since unfortunately Yuki Hiro Takashi passed away last month from a brain tumor of Kazuha Nango from January 11th, and he was born on June the 6th, 1952, in Tokyo, while also having a solo career at the same time. And with that, We're gonna have a bit of, we're gonna have a moment of silence, not even just for him, but for everyone that has passed away before and right around this special month, too. So, with this, we're now getting into the last chapters of sponsors and shout outs, and thanks for the 50 years of hip hop. Along with 30 years of SDP. So, the shout outs for this video g o e s to the SDP of Bose, Annie, and Shinko. And the shout outs for this video not only g o e s to the sponsor for this video of Joshua Lindell Sr., the producer Kantagi, AP The Prod, Prince Finest, MNL Music Group, Nova Sport, Little Nasty, Kyrie h y r i d e n Kita Jinita, Fusion Ha Podcast, Dakota Cha Girl, Comedian Dangan, Demarcus Lancey, Adestroser, 
Jeremiah Musica Sussishana Taraka Brian Splenny A Company Iowa Main Katsura Kobayashi Dennis Riva Highest Debut Nori Stem Oriental Pearl and Greg Ob. Thank you all for enjoying my second to last report of Japan. Before we get to the ending, there are a few things I need to address here. I just recently graduated from Full Sail University completely of recording arts, and here is the link of the description of the graduation. And also, this shirt here is a present from Nigeria that my father gave to me during the winter holidays. And also, here's the link of that too. My last report will be about the rock band called Whiteberry for my 23rd and my last report. While having the 28th episode of Talking Fun with Ella. So, this is all I have to say. And this has been. Another satisfying racial moment. Do you? The original. Do you understand? Around that this time, Bose has been placed on the second scene. Ah! <laughs> SDP in Japan have to start hip hop. Wow, okay. <laughs> the 11th single is the. is ah. The tools that SDP. Hmm. <laughs> The fifth album is placed on the fifth wheel, second the couch. Oh wait. Mozart Ner and Nursery God. During that time they traveled to the birthplace of hip hop. Oh, excuse me. During the disco system of oh. <laughs> oh, man. That shot on the 18th of December. Ah. Last single for this session is the triple shot EP. He, he looked like he was about to spit. Oh man. He, the 11th album is called Yuki, released on Terra Bridge Records on 2009. Oh wait. Man. Come Oh. Anawa Main. Okay. Also, did you know that they have missed me? Ah! Start off on the 28th of April 2004 and imagine on Compact Sound Records. Oh, wait. <laughs> The ninth album is the ninth session. <laughs> 